DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Let's try something a little more advanced today. Let me show you how to track and burn an image right into a rough moving surface like wood or stone. Let's go over to the color page and select that clip. Let's right click up in the node area and let's add another serial node. And with that serial node selected, let's go up to effects and let's look for surface tracker. And let's drag and drop that onto our second node. Now surface tracker is a studio only feature. So we are using DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now with that node selected and the first tab bounds selected, you can now take your cursor and draw inside of your image, the boundaries of where you'd like that image tracking to take place. Let's Let's draw it right on this open section of wood. Then let's switch over to the mesh option and you'll see it creates a mesh of different tracking nodes that you can adjust and move around based on the surface area that you're dealing with. I'll leave the ones here that it came up with because they're usually pretty decent as a starting point. Now let's go to the third step of this process and click on the tracking option. I'm going to leave this for faster, but you could switch it to better, which takes more time, but it'll give you a slightly better tracking. And let's track backwards and forwards in this piece of footage so the entire thing is tracked. Now we just have to figure out what we want to add into that area. Up in the media pool, I'm going to grab a PNG image of the DaVinci Resolve logo. And let me drag this second node down so you can see how I'm going to connect it. We need to connect that green dot output to the green input of that second node. And then let's select the alpha output at the top and connect that to the bottom alpha input. Now with this second node selected, let's go up to the result tab and let's scroll down to the overlay placement options. We're going to switch from interactive to sliders, and that's going to give us a bunch of transform sliders that allow us to change the shape and position of that DaVinci Resolve logo. First of all, it looks a little bit too big, so let's grab the zoom and slide it backwards so that it fits a little bit better. But it's very flat, and this building is actually at an angle. So I'm going to grab the yaw, which is the left and right pivot, and I'm going to pivot this so it's slightly pivoted the way the building is. You can use your position markers to move things around and get them exactly the way you want them, even stretch some of the height and the width to do what you'd like it to do. And once you've got that image placed where you want it, scroll down a little bit more to this compositing section and let's change the compositing type from normal down to overlay. Now you'll start seeing some of the grain show through. Now you can control the opacity of that and pull it back and forth a bit to get it to match, but some of the coloring I don't love. So what I'm going to do is go down to this DaVinci Resolve node, right click and add another serial node. And in that serial node, I'm going to use some of the top and bottom elements of the primary color wheels to get it to blend a little bit better. Once you're done, go back to the edit page and you'll see that you have your image burned in and tracking along with that rough surface of your footage.